partial variation. The cost C of producing n items varies partly as n and partly as the inverse of n. To produce two items, it costs uh, ken shillings 135, and to produce three items, it costs ken shillings 140. Find part one of the question the constants of proportionality and hence write the equation connecting C and N. But B of the question the cost of producing 10 items and C the number of items produced at a cost of 10 shillings 756. Now, those are the questions. Let's go straight to the solution. Now, we're going to read uh, the first statement again so that we can write. Um, the equation connecting these variables. So this is partial variation. And for you to solve this question, you require some prior knowledge on how to write uh, an equation connecting various variables that is in partial variation. So we're going to write this. The cost C, the cost C, uh, the cost C of producing N items, N items, varies partly as n so you're going to write that varies partly as n and partly as the inverse of n and partly as the inverse of n inverse of n we're going to write that one as one over n we are not yet through there's something that we must uh, insert in that equation and those are the constants the constants of proportionality they have to be included in that equation so the cost C of producing N items varies partly as N. So we're going to choose uh, two constants that we're going to use. I'll choose uh, between constants A and B. So varies partly as N. The first uh, constant will be here, A. And then the second constant, this is where N partly varies as the inverse of N. This place where we have 1 over N, again here you must uh, insert the other constant you have to multiply there so these are the constants where where a and b are the constants those are the constants of proportionality so this is how you're supposed to write that equation so uh, the cost c of producing an item varies partly as n so we write that one as a n where a is the constant and partly varies as the inverse of n so we're going to add between that uh, those two variables so plus inverse of n is 1 over n and then you're going to uh, of course multiply with the other constant that is b so when you when you open this uh, this is what you're supposed to have c is equals to a n plus b over n so that is how you're supposed to write the equation connecting those variables c and n with the constants included now from there now let's go to the next statement to produce two items uh, it costs uh, 135 and to produce three items it costs 140 so from that statement we shall have two equations the first equation is that to produce two items so the items remember in this equation items this on uh, n represents the number of items so in that statement, therefore, n will be 2. Those are two items. And the cost is C. So cost is equals to 135. 135. So we shall uh, insert these, substitute these in this expression that is here, that you've got here. So when n is equals to 2, C is equals to 135 the cost. So C, that is 135, is equals to uh, n is 2 so we shall have here 2 multiplied by n uh, 2 multiplied by a have 2a plus uh, n is 2 so here we shall have b over 2 so that will give the first equation where n is equals to 2 number of items then the cost is equals to 135 let's go to the other statement the cost of producing three items is 140 the cost of producing three items so three items means that n is equals to three those are three items then the cost is 140 so again we're going to substitute that that is a c is equals to 140 140 is equals to um here we have uh, a n so n is three those are will be three 
uh, 3a plus then uh, b over 3. Remember, we are substituting in this equation c is equals to a n plus b over n, where n in the second part n is equals to 3 and uh, c is equals to 140. So that is what you get. So these will form the second equations. That is the second equation. Now, you have now two equations. And those are the two equations that you're going to solve simultaneously in order to find the constants of proportionality. So let us solve them. Now uh, the first equation here, 135 is equals to 2a. So we shall begin by, we can simplify these to eliminate this denominator that is here, 3. We shall multiply each term of this equation by 3. So 140 multiplied by 3 will give 420 is equals to uh, 3a multiplied by 3 will give 9a plus b over 3 by 3 this one will give b so that equation is simplified and then we shall have the other one this one when you multiply every term to eliminate this denominator that is a 2 when you multiply each term by 2 we shall have uh, 135 times 2 that is a 270 is equals to 2 multiply by 2 that will give uh, 4a plus b so this one will give 4a plus b so these are the two equations that you're going to solve so uh, to solve this simultaneously you can use any method substitution you can use elimination we use elimination to eliminate b you can see b is uniform so to eliminate b i will subtract the two equation equation one subtract two so uh, 420 subtract 270 will get 150 then 9a subtract 4a will give 5a then uh, of course b will be eliminated so a therefore will give 150 divided by 5 uh, which will be 30 so that is the first constant now to get uh, the second constant that is b we just need to use one equation here you can use any i can use this one um two seven i can use the second one 270 is equals to 4a plus b so when a is 30 so get 270 is equals to substitute uh, 4 times that you give 120 plus b so b in this case will be 270 subtract 120 which will give 150 so those are the constants of proportionality so we are supposed to find the constants of proportionality and hence write the equation connecting c and n so we found the constants are a is equals to 30 and b is equals to 150. Now, to write the equation connecting the two, therefore, the equation will be c is equals to, remember, the equation of c is equals to a n plus b over n, a n plus b over n, a n plus b over n. So, when we write uh, the constant a is equals to 30, so we shall have 30 n plus uh, 150 over n. So that is the first part. We have written the equation connecting uh, the two. Now after doing that, let's go to the other part of the question. That is a part B. So for part A, we have solved part A. So the cost of producing 10 items. The cost of producing 10 items. So the cost of producing 10 items. So 10 items means that the number of items is represented by n. So n is equal to 10. So what we're going to do, this one is a very easy. We just take this equation, c is equals to 30n. C is equals to 30n plus 150 over n. So the cost of producing uh, 10 items, we just need to substitute here. So 30 times n is equals to 10, then uh, plus 150 divided by 10. So this will give 300 plus 15. So this will give 315 shillings. So let's go to the other part of the question. That is part C. The number of items produced at a cost of 756. The number of items produced at a cost of 756. So the number of items here is uh, N. So we're going to look at this equation. Uh, when you look at this equation here, when the cost is uh, 756, find the number of items produced. So just going to substitute here. Cost is equal to 756 is equal to 30N 
plus 150n. So in this case, we'll be finding the unknown. And unknown in that equation is n. The number of items, the cost is 756. Now, for, for us to solve for n, uh, let us first uh, organize this equation by first uh, eliminating this denominator to make it easier to solve this equation. So multiply each term by n, you have uh, 756 times n, 756n is equals to 30 times 30n times n, you get 30n squared plus 150 over n times n, get 150. You notice that this one is a quadratic equation, rearrange it to form to be in the best form of the quadratic equation. So if I arrange these, I'll get 30n squared, uh, subtract 756n uh, plus 150 is equals to 0. That is when I take 756 the other side. Um, looking at this equation, it is um, possible to simplify these figures. They are big and you can divide everything all through. If we divide all through by 6, uh, we can simplify this this will give 5n squared minus 756 divided by 6 will give 126n plus 150 150 divided by 6 will give 25 is equals to 0 now you can see that is simplified now we can solve this equation using any suitable method you can use factorization you can use the quadratic formula to solve this so let me use the, the quadratic formula to solve this equation to get n and uh, using the quadratic formula n will be given by negative b is a plus this is a quadratic formula minus 4ac everything divided by 2a now in this question uh, b is equals to negative 126 then a is equals to 5 and c is equals to 25 a is equals to 5 and c is equals to 25 so now we can use this quadratic formula to solve that so replacing so we get n is equals to negative b will be 126 plus or minus b squared is a negative 126 squared minus 4 times a times c then everything divided by 2 times a which is 5 so simplifying this um, we get uh, 126 so we get uh, n is equals to 126 plus or minus 26 uh, 126 squared 126 squared you get uh, 126 squared you get 15 876 15 876 then subtract this is a 4 times 5 times 25 will give 500 then divided by now this is just 10 so this will give 126 plus or minus um when we work out this this will give uh 15 876 minus and this will give 15 376 divided by 10 and this shall give 126 plus or minus the square root of 15 376 is 124 everything divided by by 10 so we shall have two values of n uh, the first value of n will be 126 plus 124 divided by 10 and this will give uh, 126 plus 124 will give uh, 250 divided by 10 will give 25 that is the first value of n uh, the second value of n will be 126 subtract 124 divided by 2 it will be divided by 10 this will give 2 over 5 1 over 5 all right so these are the two values of n that you get now n represents the number of items the number of items are cannot be given by a fraction so you're going to ignore these because uh, the number of items cannot be given by a fraction and therefore the solution will be the number of items that will give uh, the cost as 756 is 25 items and that is how you're supposed to solve that question.